dollar amounts from the beginning process and the amounts added what we need to consider then are the amounts dollar amounts that are still in our department and the dollars that have should be transferred out in order to do that then we calculated the uh, totals. This is the total dollar amounts that we need to account for. This is the total dollar amount that we need to account for. And then we divided that out by from materials and conversion by the equivalent units of production uh, per department. And then we've got our cost per equivalent unit. We can then take this cost per equivalent unit and multiply it times the appropriate amount for the units completed and transferred out and the work and process that's still there as of the end of the time period and in so doing apply out our costs. To do that we're going to start off with the ending work in process uh, in units. We're going to go to materials. We're going to get that from our table up top. So here's the work in process at the end of the time period for materials. We want that five 